E chord. Okay, from last time, picking up from last time, this is what we programmed for our stoplight cycle. The north south red should be on during the first four timers, and the east west red should be on for timer one, four, five, and six. Timer seven and eight are blink, so we'll get to that in a minute. And I guess we should go in and say blink, blink. Nah, don't need to do that. All right. So now I'm going to go back to the PLC program. All right. Before I do that, my Y2 should be on when timer five is timer. Not Y2, Y3, because it's a green light, because you do red, green, and yellow. So that the green should be on while timer five is timing. And that should be output number uh, Y3. So uh, four, I need four finished. T4. I need five not finished. T5. That should be my green light. Should be on. And then I will go to my yellow light, which is six. So that would be T5 finished. And T6 not finished. T6. Okay, so the first four timers get north, south, red. And then we jump to the green for number five and then yellow for number six. So that's what we did here. We just went in, we programmed the green. And then we did the yellow. Going the other way, I need T2 to be green and T3 to be timer timing, T2 timer timing to be green, which is Y6, and then T3 timer timing to be yellow, which is Y5. So I can go down to those, and green is what? Uh, timer five, right? You didn't forget like I did, did you? Timer two. Timer two. So one has to be done, two not done. One has to be done, two not done. So I need T1 done and T2 not done. Will be that one. And then T2 done. And T3 not done. Okay, this will run you a normal stoplight. It's the most systematic way I've ever, I can explain it. It's not the easiest. And there's certainly some shortcuts like this Like this one right here, if you know you're on for cycle one and you go all the way to cycle four, you can probably rearrange this logic to make it a little simpler to keep it on for those four timers. But this tells me it's on for timer one, timer two, timer three, timer four. So if I'm troubleshooting, this might be a little easier to troubleshoot, putting it in that way. Okay. So that will give me my normal cycle. Now I want to go to blink. So my blink cycle, what I want is yellow and um, red. And actually I do it on the second one 
Because if you do it on the first one, sometimes it will work. So I want no outputs based on T7. I only want my outputs when T8 is timing. So I need the yellow for north south. So I got to go find where T6 timer timing is. And I need to put a T8 timer timing in parallel with it. So let's do that step. All righty. So this yellow, I need a T8 timer timing. So T8 timer timing will be control arrow down. When T7 is done, and T8 is not. I'm going to go over one and I'll come back and explain that in a minute. I did not mean to go over that far. And let's see if syntax check will handle it. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll extend that in a minute. Okay, so when timer eight is timing, north, south, yellow will be on, and I need east, west, red to be on. So I've got to take this logic, this T7, T8, and put it down here on the bottom of east, west, red as well. So I'm going to come in here to east, west, red, extend down, T7, and T8. Uh, over, up. And that's what I wanted to look at. Now that will make your blink cycle work. Because what you're saying is when in a normal cycle, you'll never see seven and eight. So this logic will never be true. But when it goes to the blink cycle, then you will see seven and eight. And so you'll have red blinking in one direction and yellow blinking in the other direction. Now we want the cop switch to turn off that yellow and turn on the red above. So what I want to do is I want to come in and say, okay, the cop switch is on. And when it goes off, I want it to go red, red. So my cop switch is X3. And now I want to go up. Now, deleting this stuff, good luck. What if I do syntax check? It's probably going to tell me I've got an error. Yep, I've got an error there. And there is a way to delete it. Ah, scissors. Ha. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh, what if I scissor that? Okay. What if I scissor that? This is why I was <laughs> hesitant to do this a minute ago. Now I got to figure it out. And this is how this is how it goes. Oh, maybe it's eraser. Click the line to select it. Click the dotted line to erase. Okay. Click the dotted line to erase it. Boom. Yay, escape. Yay, that's it. Cop switch is X3. Okay. So if X3 is on, I want it to be north, south, yellow. And then when X3 is off, I want it to be north, south, red. So I'm going to arrow down. I'm going to do T7. Guess what I'm going to do next? You're right. If I said T, if you said T8 off, and guess what I'm going to do next? Cop switch off and arrow up. Okay. So 
all that stress. My normal cycle will have it red for the first four steps and it will be red in when T8 is timing. If the cop switch is um, off. If the cop switch is on, which is the normal state, based on our stop start logic, the only way we can get in cycle on is for the cop switch to be on. So that would be the normal cycle. And if cop switch goes off, I go to my cycle off. So that's what I want. And logically, I've got it. Now you can go back and add the comments what each rung does. So this should be a completed stoplight program with a cop switch. And you thought it was hard. It's very systematic. You figure out what times you want your lights on. And when this cop switch is on, this becomes red, red. So that's all we did. That is all we did. Okay. Now, wasn't that easy? So I should have a complete program. So my main program says go to stop start, go to timers, go to outputs. So if I go to stop start, I've got a stop start and a return. If I go to timers, my timers are doing their thing based on whether the cycle is on or off. And then they return and then my outputs, my six outputs. Now I started with six outputs, but you see what happened to them. They got spread out based on the logic required. And this is where a lot of students make a mistake is they'll go in and say, okay, I need Y, Y4 to be on during this step. And then they'll have a whole nother rung for this step and a whole nother rung for this step and a whole nother rung for this step. And then they'll, then they'll say, Hey, my program doesn't work because you only can have one output. That is key. So each of those outputs on that PLC can only be tied to one rung. We will seemingly violate that rule, but we gotta be careful in our programming that uh, whenever we are programming the outputs, we make provisions so that um, it's only gonna see one, the one that we want it to see. As you get better, you'll see that you, there, there's a little bit of a workaround to it. But in general, if you can get the mindset of, oh, we never do that, you'll be better off. Okay. Well, that was easy. Working stoplight program. I'm going to save it. And then I can download it, right? Okay, let's stop the recording. Once I remember how to do that, stop.